Michigan fishermen, good morning. My name is Dean Gazowski, and uh, what I'd like to do for you today is uh, bring a quick little fishing report for northern Oakland County. Uh, we're actually uh, on the canal of um, Kellogg and Taggett Lake, uh, which is you know just a, to the uh, west of Duck and White Lake up here in Oakland County. And uh, what I'd like to establish today is give you an idea of uh, the bite and uh, water temperatures and the spawn, the most important part of the springtime, right? So this is the time of year that we're really looking forward to. Um, it is, uh, you know, the sun's just getting ready to crest over the horizon here. It's about eight o'clock and um, went out fishing last night. And, um, you know, I was doing a little bit of top water, you know, just because I was, you know, I'm in the little rowboat, the pontoon isn't in the water just yet but getting a chance to get out and take a look at the shorelines and um, you know see what's out there okay now some of the neighbors they've been hitting for a while uh, some monster sized bluegill and uh, also the um, largemouth are hitting pretty well i think the the one guy went out the other day and, and caught about 10 or so um, but here's my personal experience from last night uh, i caught a mama you know probably uh you know the size doesn't matter but she was full of aches she had a really really fat belly and uh you know i'll see about posting the picture in the comments um but point is she was full of eggs her bottom fin uh or her tail fin the bottom of her tail fin uh, was not completely beat up just yet but it was starting to get that way um there was uh you know as i'm cruising the shorelines uh you know there's not really any evidence of beds just yet uh, they're, um, you know, going back to the fish that we caught last night, again, it wasn't a big outing, but uh, the opportunity uh, in the experience was this. Um, you, you, you take a look at the tail, okay, she's starting to, you know, figure out where she's going to bed down. And how I caught her was right next to a dock, and it had to be the perfect spot, I believe, because, you know, hitting with the top water, tossed it out there, it landed, she hit it, okay? was one of those situations, which, you know, as a fairly seasoned angler, um, I mean, let's, let's call it what it is, man. I fish during the springtime when the bite is super hot, and uh, that's what I'm looking for right now. Um, that's what I enjoy fishing. So, uh, you know, when, when the top water bite is starting to uh, hit like that, that's a good time uh, for my experience to, you know, throw some of those, uh, you know, wacky rigs and um, other types of bed invader type baits. So that's what I'd like to bring to the table today is that quick little fishing report. Um, you know, I've got mid 60s here. Uh, you know, I just dipped the thermometer in the water and uh, mid 60s, we know that once the water gets north of 55, that's when bass are typically able to uh, spawn uh, or that's when they start to like spawning. But yeah, I mean, we're north of that, so like, uh, Northwest Oakland County, the time is upon us. Get on it and uh, get out there and have a good time. Uh, if you enjoy the video, uh, please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, one of the other lakes that I like to bring information on is up at Fletcher's Pond, uh, you know, up there in Hillman. Uh, you know, you'd like to get up there a couple times this year, uh, but most importantly, we don't want to waste our time. We want to know when the bite's hot. And also one of the other spots I'd like to uh, take a look at is Tequamanon Falls, the lower falls where, um, you know, there's a musky and uh, pike opportunity. So, uh, again, appreciate you guys for sticking around, watching the, uh, the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you in the next video.